Hi, welcome to Avocet Math. At this point, I assume you've tried some of the problems in the PDF doc that precedes this video. And at this point, I'd like to recap the important skills needed to effectively solve these types of integer problems. And the simplest, but probably the most important, is just factoring numbers. This comes up over and over again. And it's very helpful to have some methods in your toolbox to take numbers such as 11, 88, 0, 0, and uh, reduce this to prime factor form, in this case 2 to the 4th times 5 squared times 3 cubed times 11. And to be able to do that in about 20 to 30 seconds that you'll have for a typical AMC problem, Another type of number form that the AMC likes to throw at you are factorials. And it's very helpful to be able to reduce factorials to a prime factor form as well. In this case, it's 2 to the 7, 3 squared, 5, 1, 7, 1. And again, to be able to do that in uh, 20 to 30 seconds that you'll have for a typical AMC problem. Now the PDF that follows this video describes ways to organize these calculations and do them quickly. Now another important number that comes up is the number of factors. And it turns out this can be calculated quite easily once we have it in prime factorization form by taking the exponents of the prime factors, increasing them by one, and just multiplying them together. So for example, for 8 factorial, we know that the number of factors is given by 7 plus 1 times 2 plus 1 times 1 plus 1 times 1 plus 1. And that's uh, 8, 3, 2, and 2. And you multiply that all together, and that's 96 individual factors that divide evenly into 8 factorial. And that includes the, the number 1 as well as the, uh, the number 8 factorial. Now the third and final category uh, is, is what I call looking for all factoring opportunities. Uh, these are algebra term groupings that, that you need to be on the lookout for. And uh, the one we've discussed in the last few videos is the algebra group terms of xy plus ax plus by. And we can manipulate that into the form x plus b, y plus a, minus ab where the constant number AB is just uh, something that will offset a constant already in the problem. And you've seen that from the previous videos. The other ones to look up for are uh, algebra terms such as squares minus 1, which can easily be factored into x minus 1, x plus 1. And uh, more generally, the difference between two squares, which factors quite easily as well. Um, and less frequently, but easy to spot, are the difference between cubes. So x cubed minus y cubed can be factored into x minus y, x squared plus xy plus y squared. And also the sum of cubes factors quite nicely. This uh, flips the sign for xy, and the rest is pretty much the same. So in terms of the AMC and the AIM, I would say that uh, this upper portion here is something that you really need to be on the lookout for, for the AMC 10 and 12. And this last section here on the factoring the cubes is probably more likely to appear in the AIM level of testing. So the next PDF goes over 
these tips in a little more detail. So go ahead and check that out, and I'll see you at the next video. Take care.